What's going on guys? It's Craig James here from Masculine by, MasculineByDesign.com and uh, you can find me on Twitter at the handle Masculine Design. I want to talk to you this morning about starting your day off right. You know, I, I spent uh, many years of my life on the go constantly having very little reprieve and I still live that way to a certain extent. But something that I found to be extremely helpful and getting my day started off right and being able to set my mind and my countenance on the path that it needs to be on for me to be as productive and as valuable as possible with the day that I have in front of me. And if you're like if you're like I used to be, if you're like I still am at times, you probably set your alarm in the morning to get up at the last minute that you have to get up in order to get to work or get to where it is, wherever it is you need to be as your first uh, obligation in the morning. And so you, you wake up and you're rushing through, trying to get everything ready to go. You're showering, you're getting dressed, you're you know, packing your meals for the day, uh, whatever that, all that entails. And it's just go, go, go from the get-go. As soon as you get out of bed, as soon as you roll out of bed, as soon as your eyes open, it's you're stressed, you're having to, you know, move at a, at a quick pace, not really getting to thoroughly think through what you're doing and just go through the motions. Well, what I found is uh, I've been committing to waking up earlier. And so I've been getting up uh, about two hours earlier, an hour and a half, depending on the day, than what I really need to be getting up in order to make it to work on time during the week. And what I use that time for writing or um, I, I spend 15 to 20 minutes on the treadmill reading my Bible every morning. Uh, I'll, I'll sometimes just sit for 10 minutes sipping on a cup of coffee and contemplating my day, thinking through what are the things I want to accomplish, even thanking God for the opportunity to have life this day and starting, starting my day off with the right mindset. And that has been immensely helpful for me. Because it allows me to have that that start to my day where my mind isn't already just crammed with obligations and crammed with things I have to do. Yes, I'm thinking about what I want to accomplish. Yes, I'm thinking about the most critical tasks that I want to check off my list for the day. But at that point in time, I'm committed to not necessarily doing those things. And so it's really important that we start our day off with just a little bit of time. It doesn't have to be an hour and a half. It doesn't have to be two hours. It can be 15 minutes. 15 minutes to, to sit down with a cup of coffee in the newspaper. Sit down with a cup of coffee in your favorite book. And just have start your day with a little bit of time of relaxation and not inundating your mind and your spirit with all of these anxieties and stresses that are going to hit but you can allow you can allow your your mind and spirit to kind of ease into these things instead of uh, having them bombard you all at once from the moment you wake and you know for me once i leave once i get into my work day it's it's constant there's very little downtime from that point forward so you know making time in the morning when you know my wife is either in bed or getting ready for for her day or my, and my kids are asleep that is one of the only times that I, as a father and a husband, can have solitude in order to just be alone with my thoughts, and that's so important for a man. So that's all I have, guys. If you you struggle with this, if you find yourself overwhelmed with stress, if you see that you are waking at the last minute and you're just in a state of constant hurry, try waking up an extra 30 minutes, 30 minutes earlier in the morning. Even Even if you lose a little extra sleep, it's fine. Wake up 30 minutes earlier. I, even with the loss of sleep, I think you will find it to be a net benefit in your life. You will see your stress levels subside, and your overall quality of mental health will improve. And it's a very small step, but it's a doable step that uh, anybody can take. So that's that's the message this morning, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Um, if you know this kind of stuff that I'm talking about here, these are these are the kind of ideas, the kinds of value. Uh, that's being shared inside of the Fraternity of Excellence on a daily basis, where uh, myself, Hunter Drew, my co-founder, and about 170 other men are engaged inside of our 
uh, exclusive forum. We're engaged in video chats. We have personal meetups. You know, these, these are the kinds of ideas that we share with one another on how to live lives of excellence as men. And again, this is a small step and other small steps are shared. And when many small steps are shared and they're taken advantage of, those small incremental improvements add up to a very large change over time, a large and substantial uh, change and improvement in your life over time. And so if that's something that, that you're missing, that's something that you think you can benefit from, check out what we're doing. Just go to fraternityofexcellence.com, pick any of the membership options there and uh, sign up and I'd love to engage with you inside and start exchanging that value back and forth and seeing the value you have, have to give and have to receive from the other men inside of our tribe. Uh, so that's it, man. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate your support. Again, my handle is Masculine Design on Twitter. Give your boy a follow. Till next time, this is Craig James from MasculineByDesign.com. I'm out.